Okay, so I'm finally finished. I call myself trying to style the wig on the head, but honestly, I'm not really good with baby hairs. Never really have been. So once I actually put it on, it might not even look like this, but I will show you guys the packaging. It didn't really come in anything specific. It literally just came in this plastic bag that has the wig type on it and then the amount of inches that I got. That's pretty much that, but I will give you guys a close-up of the lace this is transparent lace now I have not gone in with my foundation under the lace just yet so I'm showing you guys what it looks like on its own the transparent lace against my skin tone I'm not going to try to melt it like this because I know that this is a little bit too ashy or too light rather so like I said what I'm going to do is take whatever is left over on my foundation brush and i'm going to put that all on the inside of the lace so i'm going to do that off camera real quick okay so this is what it looks like now that i put a little bit of my foundation color underneath the lace i left the edges so you can see we went from this to this first thing i'm going to do is cut off the ear tabs not the ear tabs but the little side tabs because those are the first things i need to come off and then i'm just going to pretty much install this wig like i normally would i have dozens of um closure wig videos here on my channel so if you guys are interested to see how it is that I customized my closure. I will be sure to link a few helpful videos uh, down below regarding that. Be sure to check out the description box. I'm gonna just kind of breeze through this install process because you guys do know I do wear closures a lot. They are my favorite as opposed to frontals. So I have plenty of videos on my channel already of how it is that I apply my wigs. They're mainly all glueless. So and today I'm actually gonna be using this uh, even new york wonder lace bond adhesive spray i've been hearing a lot of good things about this so i actually picked this up in the yellow bottle you guys know me you guys know i love glueless install i'm not really a big fan of glue quickly even though this has not taken me long at all probably like six minutes or so the sun is going like in and out so if you guys notice the lighting changing then that is the reason why this hair has just a little bit of flyaway hairs on the top so i'm just going in with this little wax stick and i'm going to go over with my hot comb to lay those down in your mind, babe, why can't you just tell me I just want to be your bride, want to be, I want to give our love away, so you're not letting me, yeah, get through to you, yeah, if you let your guard down, baby, this is what I'll do. 
okay so i am all done installing this hair you guys this hair is from amazon i did purchase this hair with my own money just a quick disclaimer i know a lot of you guys assume because i am a hair channel that every single hair that i bring to you guys is sponsored or sent to me that is definitely not the case i do buy actually quite a bit of wigs or just hair in general with my own money so i did a amazon hair video on my channel probably close to being almost two years ago and i decided to go on there and look for some hair to try out i forgot that amazon even had hair kind of just because it's been so long since i've ordered hair off of amazon but i might go ahead and do like an affordable wig series if you guys would like for me to buy and install a review or test out some ways from Amazon then be sure to let me know in the comments section and you can also give this video a thumbs up because that will help me out and let me know that that is indeed what you guys want to see. This hair in particular is from the Maxine hair store on Amazon so this is a 5x5 HD lace closure wig it is it says that it's advertised as Brazilian virgin hair so it says HD lace but it also says transparent lace so I'm gonna go with it being I don't know that's kind of tricky okay i guess it is hd lace because it's very very thin and it melts it really nicely so i guess hd transparent lace i'm not really sure about that you guys would have to click uh the link once i leave it down below and see it for yourself because i'm gonna go ahead and say this is hd lace because that is the first thing that's listed in the title it says that it's pre-plugged with baby hair 100% 80 density and it's a 26 inch wig now I think I did a pretty good job at like pre-plucking it a little bit because I only went in and plucked this much hair out additionally you guys can see that I didn't take too much out but you could definitely tell that it was slightly pre-plucked the best part about this wig is that it is super super affordable considering it is 26 inches HD lace all that good stuff so I'm gonna make sure to tell you guys because I'm not sure if from the time that I do this video to a couple months from now or the next month from now the price will change but this way was $200 26 inches 209 it is Amazon Prime eligible so I did get this hair in two days you guys don't be mad at me because I promise you I did not see this at the time that I ordered but it says there's only five left in stock for this particular wig unfortunately so i mean i think it's a, a good a good wig to get it's just unfortunate that not everybody's going to be able to get it i'm not sure when this particular seller is going to restock this wig but as of right now um there's five left also i would say the hair is pretty true the length i am 5'8 this hair is 26 inches and i feel like that is pretty accurate sometimes i actually do take the time to pull out the tape measure and measure my hair because sometimes the hair is not always accurate not just from amazon hair companies but just hair companies in general i don't think that it feels like a true 180 density um, let me put all the hair to the front so you guys can see this is what it looks like honestly this feels more like 150 so i can't say that it's true to density because typically i get all of my wigs in 180 density and this just feels a little bit thinner than that so what i'm going to do because i really do like the texture of the hair and it hasn't given me any problems so far i'm going to go ahead and add a bundle to this wig i'm just going to go ahead and sew it in probably the back or just kind of go in between just to give it a little bit of fullness you don't have to do that if you get the wig and you find that you know the density is fine for you because it is very natural looking i just want it to be a tad bit fuller so i am going to go in and do that else it says that the cap size automatically comes in a medium size cap size if i wear a small and this wig actually fit me perfectly so even though it says it's a medium cap size i would say that it is small head friendly now it does have combs and adjustable straps in it i didn't utilize either one of those and the wig fit perfect on its own without me having to do anything extra to make it fit i wanted to kind of put some highlights in this hair but once i saw that the hair was a little bit uh, thinner than i was expecting i decided not to go in and bleach that so that's something that i would say to err on the side of caution of because you don't want to thin the hair out even more like i said it's pretty much giving like natural density like i said i just wanted a little bit fuller so i'm going to literally take maybe not even a whole bundle maybe just a half and add it to it this hair in particular i'm not sure if it will hold a curl i don't want to try to curl it and then i have a bump in the hair right here but i am going to do an update i'm going to say so far so good for only 200 dollars, this is comparable to like an hd lace wig that i would get from another hair company like wiggins hair for example because that's what this texture reminds me of like to a t for 200 dollars, and it's giving this like i think this wig is an absolute steal 
I really like how this braid works because when I tell you guys this wig is not like it's on there like it's really on there luckily this will come off with just water because when I say this wig is like it's not going anywhere like it's literally not going to move at all I hope that you guys enjoyed this affordable wig video if you guys have any additional questions please feel free to leave them down below as always thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time